So if he tried to kill me before I even got here, then I want to know what the enemy knows about me. I want to know what he knew God, a purpose when I was shaped in my mother's womb. God, if he tried to kill me before I even got here, I want to know what he knew when I was in my mother's womb. And I will not leave this earth until I know what he knew. Because he, because God obviously created me to be a game changer. God obviously created me to be an overcomer. I wonder what kind of game changer God created you to be. I wonder what kind of supernatural fire, fiery, fear, uh, unafraid, unashamed, indoubtedly, indescribably. Mm -hmm. I wonder what kind of fire, what kind of fire game changer God created you to be. Mm. If the enemy has always been trying to kill you. Yeah. Ready for the intro? Go ahead. I said. I said. This is Waxing with Donisha, and I ain't come to play. I be waxing every day, different foods, different ways. If you new, hit subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Don't be shy. Come along for the ride or why? Because this is the Waxer Squad. The Waxer Squad. The Waxer, Waxer, Waxer Squad. All right, you guys. So let's get into a quick moment of prayer and we're going to get started. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this day, God. We thank you so much for this food, Lord. We thank you. We ask that you bless the hands that prepared it, God. Take out any impurities, Lord. Bless those that do not have, God. And I ask for um, an awesome and a blessed week, Lord, ahead of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, y'all. We hungry. Yeah. We just got out of church. Oh, yeah. See our soup. Fish soup. It's not fish good. soup. It's. It's shrimp, and then I Vegetable. have some spinach, and then some yeah. anaki, Vegetable mushrooms, soup. and stuff in it. And I got some some nice, nice shrimp. Oh, Lord. Look at it. Looking good. So, how y'all been doing? Mmm. 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 Crunchy. Mm. Crunchy, but like a slimy consistency. There's another one there. Mmm. That's different. Into the flavor. Some spinach on the rice. Quinoa. Wow. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yummy. So, how has everybody been doing? I know I've been gone, y'all. I've been healing my body, mm -hmm. healing my body, healing my mind, healing my soul. Welcome back. Mm. 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 Babe, you want to taste this soup? Mm -hmm. It's good. Try the vegetable soup. Mmm. It's healthy. You know? The salt is healthy. Better for you. Yeah. So I, that's why my wife started eating healthy. You know? Yeah. Because you ain't been eating healthy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Mmm. And snapper. You got mm. fish. That's good. We're gonna get another snapper fish. Yeah, we're gonna get it again. At um Snapper fish is delicate. If you overcook it, yeah. it will be really dry. Mom. Mm. 
Yeah, we, we get it at um all food. So food. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Just trying to, I'm just trying to be more healthier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I'm tired of, I'm tired of always not feeling good, you know? Yeah. And if I got to eat unhealthy all the time just to get views, then honey, I just ain't going to get no views. Because health is the real wealth. Okay? Health is the real wealth. Yeah. You know, Derek, you got them? Mm. Feed them on the right. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. I've been craving for a snapper for a long while. Man. I love fish. Love my steam fish, you know. Yeah. Fish is good. Baby, you want the eyeball? Mm-hmm. Ew. The eyeball. Mmm. I eat everything in the fish. The egg, the eyeball, the tail, everything. Mmm. So, I hope everybody is feeling good today. And I encourage people to just be kind to the others, you know? Just be kind to people. You never really know what someone is going through. You never really know what what their battle is. You know, and today, today at church, we talked about how God can be found in our stress. Mm -hmm. A lot of times we're trying to. Hurry up and move away from stress. We don't want to be stressed out. We don't want to be in the presence of anybody that's going to stress us out. We don't want to do things that are going to stress us out. Right? But God is found in our stress. And life, you can't be successful or get anything done without stress. Yeah. It's just it's a part fight. of everything. You're going to fight. It's a part of everything you're going to go through. Yeah. Stress is paramount to your success. And we're always saying, oh, don't want to stress, don't want to stress, don't want to have an aneurysm, don't want to, don't want to end up dead. But to them that believe... God is found in your stress. And in fact, in the Bible, he tells us that he is our strength and our weakness. Yeah. That when we, when we are weak, he is our strength. 
so he is found in our stress. No matter what we're going through. What we suffer. God is found in our stress. So, if we will learn to look to him in the time of pain... In the time of pain, in the time of worry, if we would learn to look to God, mm -hmm. He will guide us through it. He will guide us through all of everything in our lives that stress us out. Because it is a part of life. Stress is a part of life. It comes with it. What I love about what the pastor was saying is that God may have promised you something. He may have promised you that your life was going to go in a certain direction. He may have promised you whatever, you know, from day one. And you strongly believe that and you're holding on to that. But just because God promises us some things does not mean we will get them without fighting. You still have to work for that which he promised you. It doesn't come easy. Yeah. It doesn't come easy. In most cases, it doesn't come fast. It takes time. It takes perseverance. Yeah. It takes strength. It takes relying on God when you're weak in those moments where you feel like giving up or you feel like breaking yeah. down. You got to rely on him. Mm -hmm. Ask my husband every night. What do I listen to every night? The word of God. Gospel music. Gospel music. Yeah. And what happens if I wake up out of my sleep and it's off? You get mad. I get mad. Yeah. I don't get mad. What is it? Why are you lying to these people? I don't get mad. I wake up out of my sleep at two in the morning. It's off. Cause I listen to it on I listen to the uh gospel music or whatever on my phone. So on YouTube. So I sleep it I sleep with it like that. So if I wake up out of my sleep and it's off, I wake up and get mad. Who I get mad at? I don't know. I don't get mad, babe. What to do? <laughs> Why are you saying I get mad? Because it's off. No, I don't get mad. I wake up and I turn it on. I turn okay. it back on. It may be two o'clock. It may be. Three o'clock in the morning. It don't matter what time it is. Mm -hmm. If I wake up out of my sleep and it's off, I can get up and I turn it back on. Mm. Because it helps me. It helps me persevere. Relax. When I'm going through something in my body or battling something in my mind, I meditate and focus my mind on things above. And I want to share something with y'all real quick. So, God has really been like speaking to me and helping me change and everything. Because when you're in a state of pain and you can't really do much, you're forced to like basically set. You sit and you start get to thinking about a lot of stuff. You get to be think you get to thinking about your life and thinking about the things that have transpired in your life and thinking about where you are. You get to evaluating your current state and trying to figure out where you want to go in the future. What is there a spider on me? Mm -hmm. Feel like something was on my shoulder. Yeah. Am I tripping? You're fine. Okay. And no spider? No spider, baby. No I spider in our house. So, yeah. So you just wake up and you get to thinking about your current state and whatever you're going through. 
when I was sitting on my couch meditating and focusing my mind on things above and not beneath. And I had a vision of a woman falling down the stairs, like tumbling down the stairs. Um, and um, I heard a lot of arguing and screaming. And the first thing I felt my spirits do is say, call your mom. So I called my mom and I said, mom, did you fall down the stairs with me when you were pregnant? Did you fall down the stairs with me when you were pregnant with me? And she said, who told you that? And I said, mom, just answer the question. Did you ever fall down the stairs when you were pregnant with me? <laughs> she said, yes. She said, yeah. I said, what happened? There was a period of time in my, in, in, in my life where, in my parents' life, where my dad was heavily on drugs. And um, during that time, he, when he would be high, he would have, a, he would see illusions. Um, so he came home and he thought he saw someone on top of my mom. He thought he saw my top mom having an affair. So somehow they got to arguing and tussling. I don't know. And she went flying down the stairs. She said it was only about, well, it doesn't matter how many stairs it was, but she tumbled. She rolled down the stairs. Um, and that's what I saw in my mind. I saw somebody rolling down the stairs and I just heard a bunch of arguing and fussing and crying. And I just remember being scared, like terrified. And during that time, when my mom said that, she's like, who told you that? I said, God gave me a vision. He, I said, God gave me a vision. I had a vision and somewhere deep down inside my unconsciousness, those thoughts, those memories came back. God gave them to me, obviously. And that's what I saw in my mind. And I just, when she told me that that happened, I just cried. Mm. I just cried and I cried and I cried because it was confirmation to me why I had been fearful all my life. Because I've always been afraid, like just afraid of stuff. Mm -hmm. Like I've always been afraid of all kinds of things. I didn't like certain things. I didn't like certain people. Um, if you had gray eyes, I didn't like you. If men, if you had hair on your face, I didn't like you. I just, if you had hair on your chest, I didn't like you. I mean, I just was afraid of a lot of different things. I had a lot of different phobias and stuff like that. And I never understood why. But God revealed to me in those moments that it started in, it started in my mom's womb. Mm -hmm. I was terrified in the womb. Yep. That's where it came from. That's where it started. But I just thank God because when I realized that I was able to overcome. Because God, God revealed to me that the enemy tried to kill me before I even got here. <laughs> wow. So if he tried to kill me before I even got here, then I want to know what the enemy knows about me. I want to know what he knew I a purpose when I was shaped in my mother's womb. If he tried to kill me before I even got here, I want to know what he knew when I was in my mother's womb. And I will not leave this earth until I know what he knew. Because he, because God obviously created me to be a game changer. God obviously created me to be an overcomer. I wonder what kind of game changer God created you to be. I wonder what kind of supernatural, fire, fiery, fear, uh, unafraid, unashamed, indoubtably indescribably mm -hmm. i wonder what kind of fire what kind of fire game changer god created you to be mm. if the enemy has always been trying to kill you to change the world to change the people <laughs> that 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 was that's scared you want the last year? change people who were scared in their lives hmm. yeah that's what I think. People who in, who, who scared in their life, don't know what to do. God put it here to, to, to speak to those people. God to, 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 to encourage those people. Whatever you go through, yeah. if you overcome it, God puts you, God allows you to overcome it so that you can pull someone else out of that same situation yeah. and pull someone out of darkness. 
That's why you are created. That's why I believe God created us and why we're here. Yeah. So that changed the game. That changed my whole perspective. That changed that changed everything in that moment. Like it just it made me feel some type of way and it made me Oh no, there's something on my back, babe. Look, there's something on my back. What is it? Is it a spider? Mm -mm. What is it? Maybe it's my hair. It is my hair because it's mm -hmm. coming down. Y'all like my hair? I did it myself. It's just some dookie braids that I put in my head. That's it. Nothing special. Yeah, it's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. I never knew you could do that. It's look good. Yeah, but he he's it's saying that like stuff. it's like Man. like it's something special. To yeah. me, it's not nothing it's special. special. It's look just some that. braids. Like it's special, and you are special, baby. Okay? Thank you, babe. Yeah. Thank you, baby. You're special. You're so sweet. Oh yeah, you're special. You're and for special. those out there who saying that our relationship is fake, it's not. No. People, there's really be people in these comment sections talking about. This is real stuff. This is. It looks real fake. Stuff. Like who got? Don't nobody got a front for no camera, honey? Because views is not our goal. YouTube fame is not our goal, honey. Helping somebody change, help, yeah. help. Helping to change somebody's world. Helping to, to bring somebody out of darkness. That's our goals. J-E-S-U-S G-O-D all day over here, okay? Our goals is not to be popular on YouTube. Our goals is to do what God put us here to do. I don't like nothing fake. So, don't nobody got time to be fake, honey. No. It's a serious thing. So, the fake committee can exit stage left. See ya. Yeah. Or you can I stay because you probably need to see this kind of example. I love my So life. that maybe you've never seen a, maybe you've never seen, you know, a fake, relationship you know? that is in good health. Yeah. So may, maybe you should stay. This is so, real. Um, so this you is can be inspired stuff, and encouraged. Okay. This is real life. Yeah. Because I'm definitely not going to put on for no camera. That's no. one thing I'm not doing. It's in fact, it's a real. Okay. So, yes, yeah. you guys, we love you very much. Yeah. And we're getting See? ready to sign out. Husband All Ada, he, anything else you want to add or say, babe? Why? That's what I say to you, guys, oh, that... I like to do this show, you know, because it made me feel good inside, you know, I'm eating on camera, on YouTube, just show the world, you know, and I'm not afraid, and it, it it helped me a lot to, to continue with it, you know, even when when my wife can't do it, I step in and I'm willing to do it, you know, even though at first I never liked it. My wife did love it first when she were watching all people on the show eating. And she said, it make her comfortable, make her feel relaxing. I said, really? Am I watching people eating? Oh, no. Yeah, that's how I was saying. I never like it, for real. That's how I was saying, it's just eating, you know? But it put her to a different level, different thinking, you know? And um, I'm happy that she have that passion for it until she can do it all for herself now, you know? Because I never expect she would do it as herself. No. 
But you know, thank God. <sighs> she she really have that passion. <laughs> so this is real, man. Yeah, she don't just wake up one morning and said, "Hey, I'm gonna eat." No. Take her like for one year, watching people eating. <laughs> That's what she do. Watching people eating every night, every day. She watching people eating on the YouTube show. And she even fall asleep with this video still going on. Yeah, for real. I have to turn it off. Yeah. So, happy for you guys, and I appreciate everything that you guys done for us, you know, and if you guys like our show today, just comment, subscribe, you know, yeah, and let us know how you guys feel, and what you guys want us to eat when it's time. Just text us a message and let us know. Yeah, because we're happy people. We're friendly. Like me, I'm a friendly person. I'm like a comedy guy. Yeah. So many times people think, oh, I'm fake. I'm not fake. I'm just like a comedy guy. You know? But I'm a loving guy too. Caring. Yeah, family guy. So... I love you guys, and we're going to leave now. So see you guys next time, and have a blessed day, okay? See you. Peace out. Bye, Waxer Squad. Bye. Love you. Yeah. We'll see you guys later, okay? All right. I'm sleepy. <laughs> I'm tired. Food. Yeah, it's the food. I'm lethargic. Uh, yeah. Okay. Time to go. Oh, yeah. Bye, Waxer Squad! Uh, Ugh.